A Possible Life uh, is a novel which isn't like any novel I've written before. Five people give their names to the five different sections of the book and they live in different countries at different times and they have very, very different lives. There are little bits of connection between the five sections, but it's really going to be a bit like listening to a symphony in five movements, or if you like, an LP, an album, a CD, in which the tracks are separate, but the whole thing adds up to more than the sum of its parts. People wonder why you choose certain subjects to write about. Uh, and the truth is you don't really, they, they choose you. Um, you wake up in the middle of the night or you have a gnawing feeling over a period of weeks that this is something fascinating. This is an unexplored seam or mine, if you like, of, of richness that I, I want to go into. I can spend a year or two years in here and come up with something that's going to be valuable and exciting for a reader. As to why you choose to write a book in a certain way, first person, third person, or in this case, in five what appear to be separate sections, to me, the answer is really this. You choose whatever form or shape you think will best serve the main theme and idea of your book. And since the theme of a possible life is the question about whether individuals are really satisfactorily distinguished one from another, or whether in fact we are all taking part in the same cosmic story, the same joined up life. It seemed to me an obvious thing to do to separate the lives and then show the unseen links that I think do exist between people and between generations and between countries.